Emily Osterling is the teacher who filed this federal lawsuit. You might remember last year, the Lakota School District considered a policy on gender identity and expression, a policy impacting all schools in the district. One controversial part of the proposed policy was students would have access to the bathroom that corresponds to their gender identity. The board voted down that proposal. Here's what Osterling told me after that vote. I don't think it has anything to do with locker rooms or bathroom issue. I think for them it's politics and it's whoever's pushing hardest one way or another or what they think backlash may be within this community. According to Osterling's lawsuit, she's the one who received the backlash. In May, she was told there were performance issues. On September 4th, she was suspended without pay. The lawsuit says the district gave Osterling no opportunity to perform on the deficiencies that they allege. Osterling's attorney told me by phone he cannot comment beyond the lawsuit, which implies the action against Osterling was retaliation because of her support for the transgender policy. In our district in general, there's a lot of unfinished business. Most parents we talked to were unaware of the lawsuit, but one parent told me the transgender issue is still unresolved in the district. I know half a dozen transgender kids, and I think they're still looking for answers and help with a policy that gives everyone, parents, teachers, students, some direction on which way they can go. The bathrooms, you know, just safe spaces in general. A spokesperson for the school district told me the board is pursuing termination proceedings against an employee and a lawsuit has been filed. As a result, the school district cannot make a comment. I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.